if you're looking for a fun time in the high country of North Carolina, then you then next weekend you need to load up the car, get the family, head over to Banner Elk for the 41st annual Woolly Worm Festival. Jason DeWitt knows all there is to know about this unique event, and he's here to tell us about it. Appreciate you being here. Good morning. Who's your friend you brought with you? This is Meriwether the mascot. <laughs> hey, Meriwether. Are you ready for another one? Are you ready to you ready to go racing against some competitors over there? That's what this is all about. We're celebrating the woolly worm. It yes. is just a harbinger of what's coming up this winter. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the Woolly Worm Festival. Forty-one years of this. You, you've been doing something right over. There. Yes, it's a fabulous family fun in downtown Banner Rock, the mm -hmm. ski capital of the South. <laughs> it's uh, in a bowl where Sugar Mountain Ski Slope is there and right. Beach Mountain Ski Slope is there. The Woolly Worm Festival. Uh, kids come with their caterpillars, and there's a flatbed trailer with 25 strings running up. And I call the race, and when we start, they put their caterpillar on the string, and it crawls up. The first caterpillar to the top wins that heat. Right. Eight heats is a quarterfinal. Eight quarterfinals is the final. Right. The winner of that race wins $1,000, and that worm gets red for the winter forecast by Tommy Burleson of NBA fam fame. <laughs> the black um, segment, there's 13 right. segments in a woolly worm, there 13 are. weeks in winter. Right. So as you read from the head back, a black uh, segment indicates uh, more snow and cold. A brown one, not so much more snow and cold. The ski slopes love it. I'm, I, have, I was telling you this morning, I have yet to see a woolly worm so far this fall. But I, the first one I see, I hope it's all brown. I really do. I really don't <laughs> like that cold weather. But it, a lot of folks come. This is a yearly pilgrimage for a lot of folks. Yes. Uh, we have uh, parents and grandparents who, who've been there uh, in, in days gone by. And for 25 racers, uh, we invite the, the parents and the families to come up on stage and take pictures. Right. They tell us it's the best family fun they've ever had. Uh, keep, please keep this up. There's uh, uh, vendors everywhere, great food, excellent food, uh, craft vendors. They really know what they're doing over there. It's a lot of fun. There's free parking. Right. Uh, it's a small little town. Just keep driving till you find a parking lot and you can park. Uh, half the money that we raise goes to the children of Avery County, so right. it's a great, great cost. All the, there's a little cost to get in, but all of that money is going right back into to Six dollars for adults, four dollars right. for, for kids, and if you're younger than five, it's free. And plenty of food and vendors to, to be had as well. Great time to be had by all, yes. All right, looking forward to that. Well, you got you got to send us a picture of the winning woolly worm because we want to find out what's going to happen this winter. Absolutely, you'll be on the list. All right, Absolutely. thanks so much. Yes, sir. It is the big woolly worm festival. Forty-one years of the woolly worm festival over in Banner Elk, North Carolina. It's happening October the twentieth through the twenty-second. There is a number. There is their website as well. Check that out this morning. You need to as well.